able to come on to a team through, through a big trade and make it to this point. Yeah, I'm just, I'm happy to be here, honestly. Um, you know, when I talked about leaving Skywell, I never thought I'd be at Chicago and it wasn't kind of in my plans to end up at Chicago. But like, I'm so glad I did. The group of girls we have here is something special. And you know, when I left Sky Blue, that's the thing I was most sad about leaving the girls. And it's hard to replicate such a good team environment, but this team has the exact same thing. And you know, we have so many big stars in our team, but we have no big personalities. There's, you know, everyone's on a level playing field. And yeah, it's just a great change room. And um, I feel like I've got better. I feel like I've learned a lot. And yeah, I love living in Chicago. So it's been, it's been a good year other than tonight. <laughs> Roy, imagine how special of a player you are and um, how big of an impact you've had on the team, not just on the pitch, but especially off the pitch. And he's really looking forward to next year, wondering what your thoughts are on next season. Am I coming back next year? <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Who <laughs> 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 said I'm coming back? No, I'm joking, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I stay injury-free, I'll definitely be at the Sh Chicago Red Stars. I think a lot of people have kind of whispered that I'm going to Europe and they kind of know more than me, but, um, you know, I wouldn't really change what I'm doing at the moment um, going into a World Cup year. I I'm enjoying my football and I've said it a million times, but the best thing for me is when I'm, I'm happy and I'm happy off the field here. So right now I don't see myself moving and... I know I'm, I'm coming back next year. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> if I'm healthy and like some changes happen. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. The plan is to come back, but like the weather changes a lot. So. <laughs> <laughs> like I had other questions and now they're all gone. Hey, That's awesome. <laughs> so now what happens to you? I know that the Australian national team has a couple of um, key really key um, games coming up here. Um, now, how do you look forward going on from here? Yeah, it's it's a tough one, obviously. Um, you know, we have a lot of girls in the squad that need a break, me being one of them. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes to allow those girls to have breaks. And I think something crazy, like Alana's played 79 games, I've played 71 in the last 12 months without a break. So, I'm excited to have a break I need a break I need a mental break more than I need a you know physical break but um, yeah those games are huge but I think the most important thing at the moment is giving people the rest they need and giving people what they want but those games are huge anytime you get to play France and England is, is an amazing opportunity along those same lines do you like playing all year round with the NWSL on one side and, and then the Australian League on the other side I do. I love, I love playing in the end of a cell. I love living in America. I love Australia. Obviously, it's my hometown, but there just comes a time where you need a break. And previous years, there's been a bigger gap in between the, the seasons, but now it's kind of the seasons have both got longer. Um, so there just comes a time where you need a break. And um, thankfully, I have been injury free lately, so I haven't really got that, whereas other girls on our team have. So um, yeah, I love it, but you need a break sometimes. Can you talk about North Carolina tonight adjusting their pressure sort of at halftime and how difficult it was for you guys to break that down? Yeah, I think I think the reason they did that is based on the fact that we were playing so well. Um, you know, I haven't really seen North Carolina drop like that in a long time, so it's a credit to our midfielders. They were bowling out. Um, but I guess that's part of the game and, um, you know, North Carolina are most dangerous when you have the ball. They're so good at the counter-attacks, and they showed that again tonight. But I thought we played really well, and I thought that, you know, if those two go in off the post and off the crossbar, we're up 2-0, and it's a different game. But they came back and stayed in it and ultimately ran away with the game. But I thought we played really well tonight. Thank you. Thank you.